Hey everybody, it is April Holly Smith and it is time to pay the bills again. So if you're a first time uh, person joining our channel, thanks for coming in. In this video, literally I pay my bills from this week's paycheck. I show you the plan, I show you what happened, and then I'm going to go through the baby steps that I'm on with the Ramsey Plus um, tools. So we're going to start out with what we got paid and I'm going to move my face just so that it's easier. So I use a spreadsheet of my own creation. Hey, thanks. Um, uh, and if you really like it and you want it for yourself, you can uh, purchase it in my Etsy shop. There is a link tree link that has a link to my Etsy shop. So these three columns, H, I, and J, are dealing with this week's paycheck. We have paid $869.57. So this is where I put in my um, my income. This is what's remaining that I have not used. So all of these columns right here add up and subtract from this and gives me this number so that I know what I have left to spend. So um, the first thing on the list is $25 for the auto save. I just have this set up with our bank and um, every time a direct deposit comes in, $25 goes to our um, savings account, which is our emergency fund, our baby emergency fund, our step one. So what we have here is remaining to get to our $1,000, $346.51. $25 is paid, so now we have $321.51. Over here at the end of this line, I have a total so I can see how much I've put into this category for the month. Same thing here. This tells me what uh, income we've made um, for the month. It totals this line, this line, this line, these cells, those four cells, so um, that I can have a quick total, that total here. So, and what I do for my personal mental, um, I, I just gray it out when I know it's paid. Automatic, it's paid. Okay, so the next line item is uh, Chris's spending money. And uh, when Chris does overtime, which we are doing right now, which is full 12, lunch, 12 hour shifts, 5.30 in the morning till 5.30 at night. We get up at 3.30 every morning, five days a week. It's a it's a rough one. Um, typically, he would get fifty dollars, um, but on overtime weeks, he gets a little extra, um, so that he has more flexibility because he has less flexibility in everything else on those weeks. So seventy-five dollars. Typically, the way that I would break that down on a on a regular week. I'm sorry, this is moving around too much for me. I'm gonna move this so. Trying to get this to rock less. Okay, so on a typical week, a $50 week, he would get $25 for gas and $25 for like his spending, whatever discretionary. But um, so $25 is still for gas, and then I guess he gets like $50 for whatever. And typically, once that money goes to him, I just don't look at it anymore. I close my eyes and um let him figure it out so um, that goes for like gas if gas is high then he gets less spending money because you've got to have the gas still so that gets paid all right so over here next is the line item for food so um i only have 50 dollars this week in this category because um i had a subscriber gift me a gift certificate to walmart for $50. So this is the week I've decided that I need to use it because I don't want to lose it or forget about it. You know what, you know what I'm saying? So, um, my mom and I are going to go spoiler or surprise. Um, it's not a spoiler. It's a teaser. Um, it's coming up, uh, this weekend, we are going to go to Walmart and we're going to spend that money. Uh, so, it was $50, $50 and $50, $100, which is my typical budget. So I'm only going to spend $50 out of my budget for that. 
right here, the next line item USAA, my minimum is 156, and that's what we're going to pay on that. Now, I will admittedly, I, I no problem saying I am Dave ish, ish, um, but. I'm doing my best. So this is the minimum for the USAA card. It is not my smallest. Um, the next line here, oh, I wanted to do this, is the minimum for my Capital One. It is also not my smallest. Um, Chris's Freedom card, I'm not putting anything towards at this point. His minimum is always covered because this goes directly to that card. I don't really have a, a big issue with that. And that's the one I'm going to punch in the face. The Sparkly's card, this is my Frontier Airlines card, which I do get a ton of airline miles off of. Um, this is uh, $928 is what I have remaining. It's like $927 and change. But sometimes it's just easier to do the whole numbers for the math part. So as you can see, I am putting a huge amount of extra money towards this. We're going to oof in the face so um that's where the bulk of my cash is um paycheck money extra is gonna go to um and then as we go down the next thing that i have is gas money okay so this whole month this whole month of february is an experiment in gas if you watch this week's video and this week's video you can i talk about my gas so up through January 26th, I was working on a geocaching goal, which was a streak. It actually started in December, and then I messed some stuff up, and I needed to have a physical cache. I had one day where I got three virtuals and no physical caches. So I'm, I'm going and getting a geocache every single day for like... <clears throat> 407 days is what it ended up being. I finally got that done. I was, we were driving a ton, sometimes 20 miles one way, like a lot of days we were doing that. So also we were all in the Envoy because we were all together and it is not the cheapest car we own to run the gas. It's not the most expensive. Grandma is the most expensive, the truck, but um, it's pricey. It ran into money. So I was spending $40 for a tank of gas every week. I stopped doing that and now I'm totally trying to re-equalize actually how much gas I use and how much that really costs. So last week I did put $20 worth of gas and in my haul video last week I showed you I was at Sam's and that I that I got $20 worth of gas. I had $10 worth of gas here um which I did not actually put in the car because I just didn't need it so um and right now as of right now since I got gas I mean I went grocery shopping to Aldi's and Dumas and like I'm gonna go to Walmart which is way farther away than most of the stores that I go to but like I had more than three quarters of a tank it wasn't quite full but it was more than three quarters of a tank I'm not gonna need to get gas I'm tempted to kind of put this in just to top it off but I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking it just might be like a an errand I don't need to run. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I do want to point out that uh, for each of these credit card, I have that same um, total on the end. So I can see how much I'm planning to put $837.13 towards my Barclays credit card this month which you can see will be very close to being paid off. Okay, so I do have the $69.57 um, that I didn't have planned for, so probably... No, that's okay. All right, so we don't need to... I just was looking at this. This was planned for um, eating out for Valentine's Day, but the weather was supposed to be super horrible, so we agreed to not do it. So as you can see, I did not spend it because I didn't gray it out. So I was just thinking to make sure that I had all the stuff. I do need to go to Sam's and get that gift card. So here's the thing I love about this spreadsheet. So when I clear this out, 
Oh, it's taken forever. There. It tells me I have $374.54. So let's just put that in. I'm probably just going to say this because it's just easier. And then I can leave that change in, in for my... Oh my gosh, look, guys. I'm so close. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll be able to do it. That's one thing I love about this sheet. The planning of it is the the ability for it to allow me to forecast out super makes me excited. So, um, okay, so that is the plan with the money that we have coming in. Um, I'm a little nervous about this, if this is going to happen completely. If this is going to happen because I know that we have camp registrations coming up March 2nd and it's competitive is really hard so anyway um that hat is kind of like pretty exciting news so look at that it'll be nine hundred and like sixty dollars i'm able to put towards that this month and that's all look and i still have twenty six dollars so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop at this point because you can see this is what we brought home this is like a placeholder planning number so i'm not going to worry too much about getting down to zero on it because this number is not going to be absolutely correct. So, okay, let's go over to every dollar. We're going to move my face around a little bit here. And then let's get our transactions that we just completed done. I did take the moment to put in the, the 869.57 since we know that is coming. It won't clear when I do my transactions right now, but it you know I can put it in there. Also, I could I'm gonna change this placeholder to this just because it's gonna match my sheet then. Um, and it also keeps this number from being like super negative because sometimes that happens because it doesn't know that things are coming. All right, so I just like to sometimes peruse the list. Because if I can do something easy, I'm going to do it. And here's my first example. This whole category right here is done. <laughs> so that's the only income that we had. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fold that up so that it just reduces the clutter. Um, okay. Now, here we are at my four walls. So I um, I right away I see here and here and here and here. I've got several payments in here. Um, Dominion, that's paid. Look at that. I love it when the green goes all the way. Um, all right. First energy goes all the way. <laughs> um, my spectrum, boom, done. Okay. Verizon. Also, it makes these go like kind of away and it makes me very happy when it's easy to do like this. My, my Hulu. Okay. I think we might be a Patreon hasn't happened yet. Hmm. Okay, so the only thing that's left in four walls for the entire month is my Patreon. All right, we're gonna we're gonna fold that up because I don't think there's anything in the transactions left. Okay, I feel like doing it this way seems like it might just be easier. I might just start doing it this way. All right, so. Guess who's going to scroll down? Because you know why? What do you see right here? Groceries. Because what do we have? We have all these. Duma. Also, groceries. Okay. Oh, how easy was that? It's making me very happy. All right. Ah. Uh, so we can roll. Oh, no. Wendy's on Howe Avenue is definitely eating out. Okay. It's so much easier this way. What? All right. So.
see if this what happens here. Why does it say I have seven hundred dollars remaining? That's I don't know, but I can tell you that it is accurate. This this is an accurate number. It actually jives with the account. I double checked it. Um, and also on the sheet, whatever is here will carry forward to the next month. Can't see because of my face, so it carries this number. This number right here, whatever is in the last column, it doesn't do it for all of them, but it does it for this one. It will carry it forward. Um, and the same thing with my my debts. So, boom. Okay. And okay. Moving face. All right. So we're gonna split this one. This one is going to go to Chris's gas and Chris's money. All right, so that's how that's going to crack up. We already talked about that a little bit. Um, all right, so this is my gas. And then, so we're going to pop this in here because and we're going to and then I need to add it over here um, so that stuff is right. It's going to come out of next week. It'll float in from the cushion this time. Okay. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to mark that as paid as it's already out. And that'll help my money be right. Okay. Two transactions. Okay. So this is my gas. And that's the first gas I've got all month. And it's the 20th, you guys. That's crazy the budget okay so this is our car insurance uh, I'm gonna like this because all right here we go and I will say okay so I'm gonna change this because Again, I'm rounding up, and then I didn't round up when I paid, um, so that this matches because it is paid in full. All right, so um, this when I when I paid this, the USAA, it's like an automatic payment sort of like you can have it set to automatically pay, or you kind of have to do. It is set up so that it wants you to have. Like it to automatically go to a credit card or come out of your checking account. I had it going to another card, uh, my Capital One, and I changed that so that it goes to the Frontier Barclays card. And here's where the ish comes in, you guys. Um, if you spend a certain amount of money on that card, you qualify for, like, you get the certain amount of bonus miles every year. You get, like, an extra $100 certificate for lights which i will totally use if i get um it's not like one of those things that might lay around like oh yeah i got that whatever no no i will find a way to use it um so what i did is i switched it to go to the barclays card and it's not due until later in the month but i went in and forced the the payment which you know i paid it early basically in the same day like literally like the same bill paying session um that i i clicked pay now i went to my my bank and in my bill pay sent the payment to that credit card literally moments apart so that it came in and went out and it was like a wash but i got the points for it and i got the credit for it so i know it's okay i know it's not dave's way judge me if you must just don't don't be rude i guess is the we can we can agree to disagree um, on that, but that's how I'm doing it. That's how I'm managing it. Okay, 
So all my transactions are done. Now we're going to move my face again, the amazing flying face. We're going to go to the baby steps because I'm just going to show you what's happening here. We're going to update our balance. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I, I think I can do this. Five, eight, six, seven. That's seven. Okay. Oh, my piggy's getting fuller. And then you see how this matches this, which actually matches my bank account, which I'm not going to show you. Okay, so here we go on that. I'm going to show you my baby step two. It frustrates me that this stuff moves. I keep moving my hands, which you can't see when they're moving down here right now, which it is. Um, so uh, here we go. This is my little baby step two. I think it would really like it a lot better if I finished baby step one, which I mean, I arguably, I guess I could, but, oh, um, we're just going to keep going the way it is. So this may be paid off this month. Woohoo! Um, that would be really great. Um, the, this is hilarious. This is your smallest debt. Your estimated payoff date for this debt is February of 2024. That's because I don't have any like big extra payments scheduled on this because it kind of like gives you some pressure. I feel pressure anyway. Um, so I don't like that. <clears throat> anyway. Um, but hopefully this will be gone this month. Um, anyway, I'm pretty excited about that. And we're going to start on this. Woo um, okay. There we go. Look at my snowball. I wish it, it would go up. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you is on my, um, my, my, spreadsheet I just call it my sheet um i do have a tab here it's all connected so that's the the thing that i love about this it took forever for me to get this worked out um but i have four separate sections each year is for the credit cards i have my barclays here my chris freedom card i'm going to scroll down just so that you guys can see this and i'm going to move my face once again um that i have each credit card and what it does is it pulls from the spreadsheet the payments that you make each month. So it has um, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll back up again because I like uh, on this guy because it's just better. So it starts out I have my interest rate here, my balance at the beginning of the year. And if you don't have a balance because you didn't use this at the beginning of the year, don't worry about that. Just put in your balance on whatever month you're starting. So like if you start on March you're going to type in whatever your starting balance is and go from there. And this will pick up that. So, um, <clears throat> also, um, if you wish to make corrections like for interest and stuff like that, because it, it doesn't figure that for you in this, you would just at the beginning of the month type in whatever number your account, it starts with. Oops, sorry. Um, so then, um, pulls in all of the payments that you made. It knows to see, look, $958. My interest <laughs> minus 330. That's because this will be paid off. So these numbers look a little bit funky, but um, it'll show you that. So you can see it. Same thing here. Here's my beginning. So my minimum payment of that much in interest. So it'll kind of give you an estimated new balance um, based on your starting, your payment, and what your interest rate is. So it's not like to the penny perfect, but it's, it's close. So then over here, I have my, I don't, oh, my coffee cup was resting on it. Ha, ah, my travel mug. Um, we have the total section, so it starts out with what your total debt is, and it's basically going to total this number, 
from all of the cards that you have, all of your payments. Look at that. That's a nice fat number. I really like that. And then what your new balance is. So you can see the progress that you're making each month, which I find to be helpful. Um, I like to see big fat numbers here. Look, the difference between these months, that's overtime, guys. That's the difference between no overtime and overtime. Also, this is like getting back on the wagon. Sometimes when you first start out, it takes two or three like cycles to just kind of like get yourself back up on the horse um, and, and figure out how to ride it. So that is pretty exciting for me. This is also um, pulling from here. So it just puts in a placeholder number, which is why this looks the same all the rest of the year, but it actually refigures once you start changing the number. So, okay, that is everything for my every dollar. Oh, you know what? Oh no, we already talked about um, what I'm gonna do for next week. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. That's it. So we are going to wrap this up. I appreciate your being here with me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.